Fox 12's Camilla Ortiz is here now with a look at your full forecast. Yeah, uh, more of the same on tap for tomorrow, uh, Anna. Mm. So still going to be kind of cooler, showery, and we're still tracking the possibility for some thunderstorms and hail tomorrow. So a very drippy day out along the coast today, and it's going to be a wet night out there in Seaside. This is our Shiloh Inns camera. It's 40 degrees, uh, pretty gusty, breezy out there. Uh, definitely clam chowder weather, as we like to say around here. Here's what it looks like along the Vancouver waterfront from our Mary Hill Tasting Room and Bistro camera. Looking a little bit more dry right now in the interior valleys, and temperatures are in the low 40s. So if you take a look at our rain totals, uh, we only got about a tenth of an inch of rain in Portland, but it really just depended on where those heavy showers happened to pass over. They were really spotty, so uh, could totally vary from neighborhood to neighborhood. About a third of an inch recorded there in Kelso. So uh, looking a lot wetter as you head south down the valley. Look at that. Eugene got a little over half an inch of rain and then about a quarter inch there in Newport. Today's high temperatures, we were actually a hair warmer than we were expecting here uh, in Portland. I think we put 50 maybe for our high. We hit 52. Still cooler than average. We're supposed to be in the upper 50s uh, this time of year. Salem and Eugene were in the low 50s and seeing upper 40s to about 50 degrees out along the coast. Mid to upper 40s for central. Oregon. So again, tomorrow is going to look very, very similar to today where you'll still get pockets of nice, sunny, dry weather and then all of a sudden a downpour could come through really quickly. So showers and sun breaks, uh, cool and breezy for your windshield weather. Let's see if we can time things out for you here. Uh, very scattered but pretty solid uh, snowfall still in the Cascades. Again, uh, still calling it a first alert weather day tomorrow because it could lead uh, to pretty tricky travel conditions, just heavy snow and uh, blustery winds. Looks like maybe we'll see a few more sun breaks in the afternoon tomorrow. I think that was pretty much the case today and you can see how isolated those showers are. So again, you could see quite a bit of dry time tomorrow along with those showers. Uh, we're going to stay showery through Monday morning. You're probably noticing a little bit more blue here west of the Cascades. Snow level going to be down around a thousand feet, maybe even lower. So if you live up a little higher in the metro area, you could see a dusting in your yard uh, Monday morning if you happen to get a shower passing through would be pretty short lived, I would imagine. Here's lunchtime on Monday. Looks like things kind of starting to taper off and uh, potentially sunny to end your Monday. Snow showers continue in the Cascades and it looks like another round of precipitation, more showers coming through Tuesday morning. And uh, this happened a, a couple days ago where it was dry, but then all of a sudden we had kind of showers bubbling up along that I-5 corridor in the afternoon. That might be the case on Tuesday, but we are trending drier. Monday and Tuesday should be drier than what we're seeing today. So tonight still tracking the possibility for some isolated thunderstorms, and that will be the case for those of us west of the Cascades tomorrow. So those could include small hail, gusty wind and uh, rumbles of thunder. Let's take a look at that snow forecast model. This is still really impressive stuff for this time of year. So by this time tomorrow night, government camp could be picking up another 14 inches of snow, maybe closer to two feet there at Sanium Pass. So this is incredible snow uh, for spring skiing and snowboarding. I imagine a lot of folks are going to be up there taking advantage of that. All right, our seven day forecast here looks like this. So first alert weather day for the Cascades tomorrow, still showery with those thunderstorm chances for those of us uh, anywhere west of the Cascades, but in the lowlands. Few morning showers on Monday and then uh, afternoon rain, fewer showers Tuesday, so things kind of tapering off there by Tuesday afternoon. And then we do get at least a few warmer, drier days here. So Wednesday and Thursday look like pretty nice days. We're still kind of up in the air about what's happening at the end of next week and to start the next weekend. The trend is we're still warming up, so you see those mid to upper 60s there Friday and Saturday, but some models are wanting to maybe give us some showers. We're kind of on the edge. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that uh, coming up, but it does look like warmer temperatures are coming. Anna? Good. All right, thanks, Camilla.